In today's video, I wanted to show you the new E-Series product line from Blackstone. This is the 17-inch model that's designed whether you're cooking inside or enjoying the outdoors. I will say Blackstone does a really good job at listening to what their customers ask for, and this one is no exception. We see the question all the time in our Blackstone RV camping food group on Facebook, and that's whether or not it's okay to cook with your griddle indoors. Blackstone's official word up till now is that their propane griddles are not approved for indoor use, simply because it's not safe to use a propane bottle while inside. So Blackstone's fixed all that with the E-Series line of electric griddles. So let's go ahead and unbox this and we'll see what we have. Okay, so first off, what we have here are instructions. But really, do real men read instructions? Of course, we're gonna end up with styrofoam everywhere because that's, of course, the way that is. This here, I assume we probably have our plug-in and probably our grease trap in it. We'll see here in a little bit. All right. Go ahead and put this up here. All right, you can see we have a dial here in the front uh, for adjusting our temperature. It has a digital display over here that'll show the temperature on here. And we have electric coil here. I'll tip this up a little bit, you can see. Now I know a lot of your traditional electric uh, griddles only have one element that goes all the way around. And that tends to lead to a lot of hot spots and cold spots in your griddle. This does loop around through the center, so Hopefully this will be a little bit better for that, but we'll go ahead and we'll see in a little bit when we go ahead and start this up and uh, see how it does. But but yeah, it looks like it has good coverage underneath of it, so hopefully that won't be a problem. Alright, so we have our griddle top here, and it has little feet here. I don't know if you can see that or not, little feet here on the bottom. It has little slots here for them to sit in so that it locks into place. And then it just sits down in the back. And then we have our glass uh, griddle lid here. And if you don't, if you're one that don't cook with a griddle lid or don't like to cook with a lid, you don't have to have it on here. It's, it's easily removable. There's no tools needed or anything. It just lifts off the hinges here in the back, so you can just set it down in there. And he sits down in the front. So one of the first things you kind of notice with it is it's got a real nice uh, kind of sleek looking design. It's pretty lightweight. Um, it's not as heavy as what you'd normally think a Blackstone griddle is. And we'll get to the reason why that is here in just a second. But I do like the lid that it's glass while you're cooking. You can see how things are cooking without having to lift up the lid and letting the heat out. So the one of the biggest things that you're gonna see with this that you're gonna notice right away that is really different compared to your traditional uh, propane Blackstone griddles is the cooktop. Normally they have a cold rolled steel cooktop that needs seasoning. This one is actually an aluminum cooktop with a ceramic titanium non-stick coating on it. Now I hear you at home kind of cringing already about non-stick. I will say, you know, because we were all familiar with the days of Teflon and uh, nonstick pans and griddles and how that would peel up and flake and things like that. But I can say that a few years ago we bought a ceramic coated electric skillet and it's held up really well. It still looks brand new. So I, I really think that you're going to be enjoying this uh, for quite some time. So I don't think that's a problem. Now, another big complaint a lot of people have with the Blackstones is the stickers on these and how they come up and uh, I know some people really have to fight with them and uh, to get them to come up we'll see how Blackstone uh, if they listen to their customers here oh yeah they li they listened because look at that thank you Blackstone <laughs> all right so yeah this has that non-stick uh, the super slippery surface being ceramic so I think this is going to be really good on this griddle and I think you're really going to enjoy it but we'll go ahead we'll get this up on the countertop get it fired up and we'll see how it does 
Okay, let's go ahead and we'll plug it in and put in our grease tray and then we can come around to the front. Okay, so we got our Blackstone plugged in. We got power on here. You can see this right here. We go ahead and poke our button here once and we can see temperature. This goes from 200 all the way up to 500 degrees here. So now this is still adjusting to actually turn it on. You have to poke this again and then it starts heating. So we'll go ahead and let's get this wiped down and we'll go ahead and try cooking. Okay, so we're up to top. I'd like to go ahead and point out that this is non-stick, so you can't use your normal metal utensils that you're used to using on your Blackstones. Instead, you have to use plastic utensils, and Blackstone makes a nice three-piece kit to get you started. If you can find it in the stores, not all stores have them as of yet, but keep your eyes out for them. I will put a link in the description down below for them, and just in case you're, you're wanting those. But if you don't have those, you can use your normal plastic utensils that you have for at home right now. So. so to go ahead and get started here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw down a couple frozen sausage patties. And uh, cook up a couple breakfast sandwiches here. All right, we'll throw our egg rings on here. And you do have to spray these a little bit, make sure that uh, they come apart from the eggs. Just a little spray there. And if I can do this well enough. Ha ha. All right, I'll give those just a little bit of salt and pepper here. If you like your yolk runny, you can. I don't necessarily like that, so I go ahead and break the yolks onto mine. Okay, so I'm hoping the digital controls help regulate the temperature a little bit better than what we're used to on a normal electric griddle with analog adjustment. Just because it's digital, I'm hoping that that temperature, you know, doesn't fluctuate as much as what we're used to. So we'll, we'll go ahead and see here. So while those are cooking, we'll go ahead Let's put some butter down. Bagel on here. A couple of bagels for our sandwiches here. Okay, we can go ahead and pull our egg rings off. Now that our eggs have taken shape. Okay, now you can see that this thing is just super slippery when it comes to that non-stick coating. They just do not stick. Flip our sausages over here. So while our buns are finishing toasting up here, we'll go ahead put some cheese on here like I said look at this just super super slippery it comes off the griddle a lot better than it comes off the spatula okay let's go ahead and now we go ahead and build They look like a couple of breakfast sandwiches. Guess we'll see if they taste like breakfast sandwiches. Okay, so while that cools down for a little bit, we're gonna show you how to get this cleaned up real easy. Okay, so to clean this, you don't don't ever scrape it to clean it at all. All you should ever have to need is some wet paper towel and just wipe it down. Like I said, this thing is just super slippery. And if you have to, if you're doing this hot, use your spatula and just wipe it all down. Okay, and then we can put down some dry paper towel and just dry it off. Make sure that we get it last a little anything that's a little bit on there. 
All right, so let's see if this breakfast sandwich tastes like a breakfast sandwich. It looks like it turned out pretty good. So cooked fast enough and didn't really have any problems with the grill. So. Holy cow. Tastes like it's cooked on a Blackstone. Go figure. All right, so what's our takeaway from the Blackstone E-Series griddle? I think it's safe to say that this griddle should really fill a void in the griddle market. And it should provide a much better cooking experience than your normal, ordinary electric griddle that we're all used to. And it should also help us Blackstone lovers to be able to griddle indoors when the weather outside just doesn't want to cooperate. I also see this being a really good fit in the RV community. There's a lot of RVers out there that prefer to cook with electricity than propane simply because propane costs so much and you can use electricity at the campground. And I see this being a really good fit for those people who, you know, maybe don't have a big family, maybe they're a couple traveling in an RV or whatnot. And this here should be a really good fit for that. I also see this being a really good fit for those that maybe live in an apartment complex that's not allowed to have a normal propane grill. And this will really open up some opportunities for them to be able to go ahead and do a little grilling. So if you fall into one of those categories, this griddle might be right up your alley. Make sure you're subscribed and you ring that little bell because we're going to do a comparison video between the 17-inch E-Series and the 17 Adventure Series and the pros and cons of each. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. We want to hear what you think of the new E-Series Blackstone griddles and whether or not it's a right fit for you. And as always, if the ladies don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. <laughs>